Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Today I've got a very exciting video. I have got a brand new Beatles gel polish collection here. This one is called the Cozy Cashmere Collection and it's very, very new to Amazon UK and I'm really, really, really excited to dive into it today. I was actually going to paint my nails as well before this, but I'm so excited to dive into the box. I can be asked. So yeah, I've got this one here. It has 12 bottles of gel polish in. They look like really beautiful colours, very unique, very different to anything else I've got and I'm really excited to dive into it. So I'm going to crack on, open up this box and let's have a look at these gorgeous gel polishes. So I always say this with a Beatles gel polish collection but they have the most beautiful packaging. I'm sorry it's not all fitting on frame perfectly but it is what it is. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful packaging. I always really love the Beatles boxes. As always on here we've got low smell, nine toxin three and no harm to skin which we always like. We have got the usual application guide where it just states how to apply the gel polish, how to remove it, some helpful tips. And we've got a few FAQ questions there. The basic bits and bobs, but very, very helpful, especially if you're new to gel polish and doing nails. And then the gel polish comes all protected in these nice little pads. The tops of the bottles is a little bit different to how they normally are. All the collections I've ever bought from Beatles have always had the numbers like this on the bottles. This time they've got an A in front of them, I'm not too sure what that's for. But they have got the colour code in which I always really like, it makes it a lot easier to see what colours are there. They are only 5ml bottles but I have the Perfect 20 collection that I've had for nearly a year now. And I use it pretty much every single time I do nails, yet yeah, I've still got a fair amount. They're starting to run a bit low now but I think they do last a really good while because they're generally very pigmented and you don't need to put loads on and yeah i really 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 like them as you can see here these are very wintry colors i will also pop the advertisement image up on the screen now so you can see the sort of colors that are in this collection i will be doing swatches of them all in a moment and we'll see how they are this kit doesn't come with a top coat or base coat or matte top coat it's simply just the colors i have got their matte top coat and their gloss top coat here if you've been with me a while, you know that those are my go-to top coats. I really love their matte one. It's proper matte. It hasn't got that weird sort of finish to it. It's proper matte. And their glossy top coat is really good. It has high shine. It's long-lasting. And I really like them. Even down to the consistency, they're absolutely perfect. They cure beautifully. And I can't fault them. So I will be doing swatches of these today. And I'll also put half and half matte and glossy like I normally do. So we can see what these colours are like. Both matte and glossy. And... Um, other than that, I'm going to crack on, I'm going to get these swatches done and have a look at these beautiful colours, see what they're like, see how pigmented they are, and I'll get back to you at the end with my thoughts. So, I hope you all enjoy seeing the swatches. Thank you. 
Okay, so straight up, I can say I really love this collection. Like, I know the colours aren't overly exciting, but personally, they are just what I need for my collection. Just some more sort of toned down ones, especially for winter. And I'll tell you what, I actually love every single colour in both matte and glossy. So I'm going to go through now and show you all the colours one by one again. So I'm going to start off with this one, which is the black A165. This one I'm really impressed with because that is one coat and it is really, really, really pigmented. I have a black from the Perfect 20 collection that again was really pigmented and I really liked but I've managed to use it also get through black like there's no tomorrow. And then I brought I think the Modern Muse collection that also had a black but that one was really 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 sheer and I wasn't very impressed with it at all. So I weren't really too sure what to expect from this one but I'm really 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 happy of it like it is so pigmented and like one coat you can get away with two maximum and you're good to go and again it looks great in both matte and glossy so really really happy with that one okay and then we've got this one which is a166 it's a very dark navy blue but it is very sheer it's all ridiculously sheer it's not too bad you will just have to definitely lay this one up i reckon three coats of that you'll have to do but it's a really gorgeous color and i've been really needing a navy blue in my collection so yeah i really like it it definitely it's almost black it's literally like that dark but i reckon three coats that and it'll be perfect and yeah it's a really gorgeous color and then we've got this very light grey which I'm really pleased about, I really needed a new one. I have been using one by Model Ones, it is very 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 similar colour but I've used it that much, I'm nearly out now. This is A172, again it's really pigmented, I'm really impressed with it, it looks gorgeous in matte and glossy and I'm very 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 happy with that one and it's a very useful colour to have in your collection so yeah it's A172. We have then got A171 which I don't really know how to describe that colour. It's kind of like grey, but it's kind of got like a brown tone to it as well. I don't really know what colour you'd call that. Maybe just a really light brown. But it's a really gorgeous colour. And again, I'm obsessed with that in matte. That's beautiful. It's also pretty nice and glossy. I'm really loving a matte nail right now. You guys might have noticed I'm absolutely obsessed with matte nails. And yeah, I really, really like that. And then we've got this very sort of red toned brown on A168. It's a really nice colour, it's a little bit sheer with one coat, but two coats I reckon of that and it'll be fine, a little bit of a messy swatch there, but overall again a very useful colour and I see me using that a lot over Christmas for like painting reindeers and you know just sort of having those sort of colours, but yeah really attracted to that one. Moving on to A169, this is a very sort of caramelly sort of tan colour, again it's not something I have in my collection so I'm really chuffed about that, I think it's a really gorgeous colour, again I'm absolutely obsessed with it in matte, I think that's stunning, in glossy it's beautiful as well and yeah overall really nice colour, it's pretty pigmented, again you definitely need two coats but I don't think you'd need the third with that, it's a really really beautiful shade. We have got A167, this one is a very very sort of deep reddy sort of colour, a little bit on the sheer side but I reckon you could get away with two coats again, maybe a third, but overall it's a gorgeous colour, very very deep red, but I do like it a lot, very very nice. This one is A174, this is probably one of my favourites out of the whole collection, I love these sort of like grey tone sort of green colours I think that's really stunning in both glossy and matte again it's pretty pigmented two coats I reckon again of that one um, yeah really 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 nice this shade is lush it's sort of a very creamy sort of colour it's A170 and again I'm just really loving this collection in matte I think they are perfect in matte but that one's pretty pretty opaque as well considering it's a very sort of light colour and yeah I really like that I think it's really pretty the label was determined to come off of this particular bottle but this one is A173 it's sort of like a bluey sort of grey sort of tone colour really pretty again not something I've got in my collection so I'm really chuffed about that and yeah really really good colour 
And then we've got some sparkles, two sparkly ones in this collection. So we've got A175. This is a very sort of light gold colour. It looks good in matte as well, which you know that I'm not very keen on glittery things in matte, but I actually quite like this one in matte. It's really sort of subtle, sort of really fine, sort of dusty gold glitter in there. We have a sort of silver tone to it as well. Really, really, really pretty. Pretty good coverage for a glitter one as well. So yeah, very happy with that. And then last but certainly not least, we have got this gold, which is A176. It's definitely a proper gold colour. It's like literally liquid gold. Super, super fine, sort of shimmer in there. Really nice. It's a little bit on the sheer side. If you want in proper full coverage with it, you probably need three coats, I reckon, because it's a little bit patchy and a little bit sheer in places. But overall, it's a really beautiful colour, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So like I said, this collection does not come with the base coat or the top coats. I have used my Beatles glossy top coat and my Beatles matte top coat on these swatches today that I got from my Modern Muse collection. Quite a few of their collections do come with the top coat and base coat, but not all of them. Likewise with this one, this one doesn't have it. But you do get the 12 bottles of gel polish, 5ml each. They are really, really, really nice. Excuse the permanent marker on my fingers, I'm just a mucky pup. But the consistency of them is really nice. It's not too thick, it's not too runny. That's one thing I've always really liked about Beatles is the consistency. They are really good. They cure beautifully as well. I cured all of these for 60 seconds at a time. And they cure beautifully, they're really good. They're long lasting. And like I said, they're pretty opaque as well because you do get some gel polishes where they're just so sheer. And some of the more affordable companies that sell gel polish, a lot of their gel polish is very sheer and you can tell that it's quite cheap. Whereas the Beatles, it's affordable and really thoroughly good quality. I cannot recommend it enough. I have already got four collections. This is now my fifth collection. I have got the Spring and Summer, the Perfect 20, Modern Muse, mermaid mantra and now i've got the cozy cashmere and yeah i'm totally obsessed i'm so chuffed that i purchased this i saw it i saw it as new i had to have it i really wanted to show you guys this collection and i thought it was perfect for the season you know all the bright colors and that tend to be sort of going away this time of year and we're going into the sort of more wintry colors and this is definitely a perfect collection for winter and i'm so chuffed that that black's a good black so yeah i thoroughly recommend this set i will link it down in the description box for you if you'd like to take a look this collection is 21 pounds 99 currently on amazon uk which is really affordable for the quality of these gel polishes and yeah i couldn't be any happier with this set it's beautiful really really gorgeous gorgeous colors so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope i've covered what you would like to see and yeah i've really enjoyed filming this one i can't wait to use the set i will be diving into this a lot throughout the winter and yeah absolutely made up with it so definitely check it out it's well worth every penny but anyways i'm gonna crack on now if you haven't already please like and subscribe to my channel i'll be much appreciated much love to you all and i'll see you in the next video bye